All right, we are here at my Vermi Hut indoor worm bin. And it has been nine days since our first feeding in here. This is tray number four. And we just started this uh, tray nine days ago. Um, and this one, this tray, I did a little bit different. I did not inoculate this whatsoever. I just put in wet cardboard and put a feeding down and put this tray right on top. Um, now that's not my usual way I do things. I'll inoculate it, mix it in, that kind of thing. A lot of people will, you know, start a bin, put food in, let it go for a week or two or even longer. Um, all very good things to do. I'm just experimenting here. I just wanted to see will the worms come up from underneath and uh, try and get to the food or you know will this cause delay so maybe the next tray I do something totally different and then we compare them this little bit of um, castings and stuff you see is just from me going into the upper lid and some of the other areas and cleaning them but let's get in here and let's see what we have now this feels just so very different for me because it's so much cardboard, because it's only been nine days, but you could probably see there are worms all in here. So at the very least, we have worms, and they are, they have crawled in. So this isn't just a total sterile bin here. We have worms in here. And oh yeah, there's, they're all over the place. Let's a little something out. So this obviously is the feeding area that we have. I see no food. Now, of course, it's been nine days, but oh yeah, look at that. There's just tons of worms right there. If you can see them, there's just lots of worms. So that's good. Now I say lots, it's, <laughs> it's not a crazy bin full. Like, uh, you know, the last feeding I did before this one where I was digging through it, but certainly they have found what they are looking for and are going for it. And this looks like a banana peel, a whole banana peel that I think I put in here. And I can't tell which way I did, this way or this way right now. Um, some paper, toilet paper roll with some worms going through it right there. But all in all, I'm, I'm pretty happy. Now I will say, I just first observations, first impressions, maybe um, they're not up as far as I had seen previously. But also remember the, the layer under this still had food, still had paper, wasn't as complete castings as before. So maybe I didn't keep all the conditions the same or you know just change one condition to see what the worms do. It's like multiple conditions are different than the last couple of trays. But good moisture, good, good worms. Here's a, this one is most likely a red wiggler versus a blue worm that I have in here. The clitellum is thicker and it's a bigger worm, not moving as fast, that kind of thing. So, and I have a mix in here. And earlier I uh, was in here and just kind of looking at things and I saw a cocoon. Um, so there is life in here. It's a little bit drier, I think. I, I can't tell if it's the cardboard just cause there's so much of it and it's been a while since I've had a empty tray like this or if it is drier, but you can see worms all through here going through the cardboard, but it's it's just shocking every time you put on a new tray and there's just so much cardboard compared to what you're used to, you know, the time before. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, I think we found where the worms are and they are all hiding in a ball. There must be some food in the middle of this, but there's absolutely uh, a worm ball going on here, which I have just disturbed. <laughs> But they're in here, there's just, there's just food and a lot of 
places for them to go. Maybe we'll do a little time lapse here, right here, and let's watch that. Okay, I know they're still moving around, but that's probably long enough because I'm gonna be disturbing them anyway, so I don't wanna, I'm not being a very good worm parent here. But, um, oh wow. I don't know how well you can see this, but there. There's, there's a big one right there. Right there where my thumb is. But okay, let's, uh, <laughs> they are all throughout here. Um, Let's let's kind of aerate a little bit more here and then this side and then we'll um, set up their feeding area, which nine days clearly they've eaten all the food except for that banana peel, some of the extra stuff. So we'll give them a generous feeding here. They certainly can handle it. Um, and this is pretty amazing. I mean, absolutely no castings were in here. This was just... Uh, cardboard, a lot of toilet paper rolls, it looks like. Um, you know, shred cardboard and boom, inserted feeding. And they have infiltrated. They have come in here and found food all the way from the bottom on their own, not introduced in here. So, so if you want to be a lazy worm farmer and <laughs> just put your tray up here, it will work. Um, is it the best way? Uh, probably not. I think the other folks that talk about inoculating and putting the food in here and having it, you know, kind of getting pre-digested by the microbes and all that kind of good stuff before you even put the tray on top are, are probably right. Probably goes faster. Um, we'll see. We'll do some experimentation. This is some car uh, coffee grounds that were stuck together. Uh, but if you want to be a lazy worm farmer, <laughs> um, the worms will handle it, it looks like. Established worms. These are very established worms. Uh, it may not be something I would do right after purchasing worms or getting them and uh, starting your initial bin, but certainly worm farming can be as time-consuming or not as you want it to be. Um, I'll go ahead and put in... Some more dry bedding. Again, I, I don't believe that you can have enough bedding. Um, it's very easy to feed and see the food gone um, and forget about the, bait, the bedding when you need the, a good carbon to nitrogen ratio. This is some banana peels. But bedding is extremely important. Some lettuce, you know, piece, whatever. Um, so yeah. The um, it it can be done. It's it's certainly um, you're certainly able to just put the stuff in if that's all you can handle. And really, my goal is to take my waste that would normally be going into the garbage and create something useful out of it for myself, which is my garden. Um, circle of life here, especially when you see this watermelon and some of this other stuff. Some of the lettuces, um, they're 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 getting worm castings, and then the waste part of it, I'm putting back in here. So and another banana peel, and some of the commenters talk about you know putting all different size of food in so they can get some of the small stuff and feed on that, and they can also you know get some of the bigger stuff, and then it releases water. I appreciate all the comments I've been getting all the help, tips and tricks, but I'm almost caught up on video, so this, this will be close to real time that I post this. Um, so we'll be able to, I'll be able to react to the comments a little bit better. But that's it for the, the um, solid food portion now. This coffee grounds is also food for them. I'm gonna put a lot in there. But, you know, like I was saying, the. The bedding to food ratio, it's, as you as you go, it's easy to kind of get out of hand because you can see the food disappearing, not as much as the bedding. And the next thing you know, the bedding's mostly gone and you just keep feeding food, but it's very important to put the bedding in. So we've got a good ratio of both. But there's some grit for them. 
and that's kind of the feeding, the standard feeding that I that I do. So here we are nine days later from the start of this. Pretty happy with how many worms have come up from the bottom. Um, I'm just gonna bury the food here and we will call this a feeding. It's just so different for me. It's been a while since I started a tray, so seeing this much cardboard and just the, the way it feels. I, I think I put a lot of this toilet paper roll in here too, so it takes a little bit longer for them to break it down. Certainly, it's not, I, don't, I haven't shredded it, but um, I just wanna make sure I, I um, cover the feeding, even though this, this bin has a lid. Um, I think that's pretty good. If you got any comments or you know like what you're seeing, let me know. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe. But you know, I appreciate the comments. I know other people probably read you know the comments too. So let me know what you think. And you know, certainly by the time you're seeing this, I've improved on some of the videos that I've had earlier and some of the things I've done and taken some of the advice. So, but again, this is all about experimenting. I, I know that this is not how I would normally do a bin. I wouldn't normally. Just put sterile stuff in here, but I like what I'm seeing, um, knowing that I can be as lazy as I need to be. <laughs> so, hope everybody's warm bins are going good. Happy verm vermicomposting, and have a great day. Take care.